like, yeah, I'm a rapper. And my English teacher was like, you know what? You could possibly, you know, go to state and Right, and to be honest, like, I've been spending a lot of time with myself, a lot of time learning to understand myself, and I haven't been around people in a very, very long time. And so what I'm realizing being in this space is that my paranoia is incredibly insane in terms of, like, I haven't learned to trust people. I haven't had a lot of people in my life, so it's been very, very hard for me to just understand that concept. Like, I can, it's, like, that's all that I can say. Um, I'm just talking shit. But yeah, you know, like I said, we're going to keep this shit rocking and rolling. If you still feeling good, let me hear you say Ashe. Ashe. If you loving yourself still, let me hear you say Ashe. Ashe. And if you ready to hear, oh, you missed it earlier, so we got to go back to that actually, right? Run it back. So what we did earlier is I had a little bit of an introduction on uh, how we were going to lead this poetry event, right? Because it's real open and casual, you know, you sit on the ground, I'm looking in your eyes. It's cool. We chill. Right? Pause. But... Um, no, you just <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke, but alright, so you know, uh, what I was saying earlier is the whole idea behind this event was, uh, we're just taking this opportunity to, to find growth within each other and ourselves, share some shit that's been on our hearts and minds, and look forward toward the future, mm -hmm. right, so it's something that we can share upwards and downwards, so it's something I can share with my children and my grandchildren and my ancestors and my mom. So when I say Ashe, that's a confirmation of what we're carrying, right? So Ashe is something that can't be used in a negative tone or a negative way. You can't shout it or scream it. You know, you say Ashe, right? And it's a way to confirm uh, the things that you believe and you want to share, like I said, with your ancestors. And it's a way to connect with them as well. So when I say Ashe, we say Ashe to confirm. So Ashe. Ashe. So uh, like I said, we're going to keep going. Uh, my homegirl, Valencia. Is gonna share next, uh, and I'm gonna let her speak for herself. Also, no so. fucking way. Yes. Yeah. To, to to take a moment right now and just take a deep breath in. All right, now exhale. Cause like I said, this 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 night is about you know getting shit off your chest, uh, but also recognizing that like we're all human fucking people like we're all just beings who experience some different hectic complicated ass shit like you are the leader and the protagonist of your own story so every day you get up you put your pants on you put your shoes on or whatever order you do it in whatever uh sometimes people put their shoes first and then put the pants on you know what i mean i don't know you to each their own you know so live it up you know you got the snap pants um whatever so i'm all about like people just being who they are and, and loving what what they got to offer so i want to let you guys know something very special right we got raffles up front jasmine's going to come and talk about these raffles a little bit more in detail but what i want y'all to do right now is take some time mingle with each other uh got two beautiful photographers here this evening um, and we are taking pictures in the back just for free, you know, just come take a picture with somebody you met, a friend, an old friend, a new friend, somebody you're networking with, or just by yourself, dolo, just style up, you know what I'm saying? Nice. So I appreciate people with that snapping, you could clap too, we not, uh, I don't know how to snap my finger. we're not draconian with it, you know what I mean, I'm not gonna like, like force you, ain't a ritual, you know right, you know what I'm saying, do what you want to mean, everything in life is a ritual, baby, you answering your phone is a ritual, you opening the toilet is a ritual, opening a cereal box is a ritual, baby, everything, everything, turn the TV on, you already know, so, um, we're going to keep this shit rocking and resolving. Uh, the next person to go is somebody near and dear to my heart. Great friend and spiritual counselor. We've got a dear friend of mine. He's a talented artist, a rapper, and a spokesperson for using milk in your oatmeal. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You should always do that. It's my man. It's my man OS. He's yeah. like, the luxury of seeing them uh, display uh, beauty like Timmy and Timmy and 
Kiwi just did, you know, it, it, it kind of shatters my expectations of what we can really do, you know, and how much pain is a provider for what we, we all build upon, whether it's pain in not having or pain in having too much. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep this shit going. Um, the next performer coming up. Um, I've just kind of been through a stage in my life where I'm trying to figure out what I want um, and mainly who or yeah who I want to provide for being me and my family so um, this one's titled Queendom and it stems from that can y'all hear me yes I, I'm gonna do three poems for y'all so lately I've been in a real creative streak I've had a lot going on and when I have a lot going on I turn pen to paper I'm like what's up we getting these feelings out and we do it eloquently so, I've been creating a lot, and so I've been excited to read these poems. And y'all just gonna get to see some of the shit I've been thinking about. Three cheers for the nice guys who always finish last or not at all. So committed to the cause of some men, not all, not me. Uncomfortable in their own masculinity, trying so hard to be a different breed that they expect rewards for being nice. We're just friends, but you asked for sex twice. The type of deceit that is hard to see because you're fooling yourself at the same time you try to fool me. You just want to fuck just like the rest. Fear of me saying no led you to ask to be friends instead. All means to an end. Three cheers for the men afraid to use the chess who think there's a personality test to get pussy. Niggas playing check is not chess. As if your internal work deserves its rewards in the form of a female human being. So sweet you forgot to be honest. Put your lies to the side and we'll see. Are nice guys really a dying breed? Nice or manipulative? Built up trust so it'd be harder to say no? Play the game from the friend zone. This communication is passive, this pattern is oppressive, and niggas like you need to go. These games are getting fucking old. No, women aren't growing cold, just tired of being sold. Your insecurity is not our problem to hold. I might sound jaded. This is for all the guys who waited as I dated and aged beside me, who gave me a shoulder to cry on about my ex while suddenly praying to be next inside me. None of you niggas are nice, so no, we can't be friends. Three cheers for the, oh, so you can't have friends? Ass niggas who already see the bigger picture. When he's done out filling, listen to your feelings and fantasize about filling on you. Do you feel that boner on your back? Relax. I'm a nice guy. I'm not like that. Somebody is missing. And I, I feel like if I speak his name, he'll show up. Right, so I need everybody, you laughing because you know, right? So I need everybody right now, one time, real quick, to just say Frankie. Frank. <laughs> Frank. Frank. No, Frankie! 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 His name, he'll show up. Frankie! 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 Frankie!
How can I still pull off being proper to such a team? Just because I'm hood, that don't mean my parents ain't educate me. Mm. I love my brown glowing skin. I love my black girl magic. I love that when you try to impersonate, it appears so tragic. <laughs> the joke's not on me, honey. It is on you. Because the eyes were only meant to see boo-boo. Mm. Beauty births from pain. Stiffening the souls of victims as if a statue in the all-war memorial. Gray invincible. Fighting the injustice of a black and white world. Just stating tragedy. We have adapted and unsolicited superpower. Invisibility. Cloaking every muscle, move, the idea, thought, breath taken. A superpower evolving to speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil. Your vivid toxins will not pour onto me, seeping through the skin I'm in that Sharon G flake. To be a queen if it's only in the context of a king. A pretty thing on his side, always second to the guys called crazy when I speak my mind. No, see. If I'm going to be queen, it's because I have big dreams to take over everything as far as I can see from sea to shining sea. If I'm going to be queen, that shit's going to belong to me, my family, and those who fuck with me. A queen made me. A queen raised me. My young rivers soar straight from their pools. If I'm going to be a queen, it's because I rule. I am no palm piece. I move along the X, Y, and Z easily. I step through dimensions. My blood too rich to be a sidekick or a henchman or queen only in the context of a king. A supporting role. Just a support, nothing more. A strong character and a strong supporting role. No. I don't want to be a queen if it's only in the context of a king. If I'm going to be queen, it's because I rule. Hmm. I want to be the very best. Yeah. That no one ever was. Don't, don't, don't. Awesome.